space, the final frontier. But what if it weren't? What if we were to go beyond space and into time? The mistakes of the past erased, the future reborn, the mortal and immortal made to decide their destiny together. Time is no longer an arrow, but an infinite expanse of possibilities. Explore this strange new world. Boldly go where not even a cue has gone before. I'm making this short little video to show if the substance called Alum, A-L-U-M, is effective to help me remove this sheared off screw. I sheared off the head when trying to remove it on this Bolivo watch. So we're going to place it in a pan of water with the substance that I bought at a local store. And you can see it in the baggie here. I'm not sure how much to use, so we're just going to do an experiment and see if we can gradually remove the sheared off part there so I can put a new screw in. So let's watch an experiment together. This is a close-up of the area where that screw had sheared off the head. So we're going to gradually let the alum work its way in there and hopefully remove that so I can put a new screw in. Unfortunately this area here also I can't get that screw out so we're gonna see what happens overall to this part and with fingers crossed it will work and we can continue the restoration of this boliva. I've taken the stainless steel pot, added enough water to cover the part that has that sheared off screw, and I'm going to add some alum. Now, could never find anybody so far that gives you an exact amount of how to use ratio of alum per amount of water, so. Like I said, we're going to experiment and see if maybe these two tablespoons will do the trick. Obviously we want to concentrate it enough where it's going to do what it needs to do to that broken off screw. So, all right, let's just get it mixed up, dissolved in here. And then once I get it dissolved, we'll put it on the heat and we'll have it slowly, not a high heat. I'm just gonna put it on a low heat so the water's warm, not boiling or anything like that. And we may even have to add more water because there's two tablespoons in this little bit of water here, which I would say about is half a cup. I didn't actually measure it. Sorry for that, folks. But we will keep working this out here until we get something effective. Okay. So. Looks like we are... About ready to try the heat now. Okay. Now like cooking channel now all of a sudden. And uh, looks like a lot of it has dissolved already, so we're probably getting the point of being saturated in here. Which is probably what we want, is we want it to do what it needs to do. And let's put that on the heat and see what happens. Okay, we're going to have the video come back 
at different times and we'll check it in different stages to see if there's any progress over the course of however long this takes. And hopefully this will help somebody else out there who may be in the same situation uh, on their part. So stay tuned. I checked the amount of water for us for future reference. So that actually is a, a half a cup of water. So I judged it pretty good just by looking at it. So looks like all the crystals of the loom have dissolved into the water. And we're about a half hour into uh, this. I've turned it down to level one on the stove here. So we'll continue to see how this works on that screw. Keep staying tuned, everybody. This is about two hours into the... Uh, process using the loom crystals dissolved into water here and running it on low heat. Here's a close-up of that uh, area where the screw shear had sheared off after the two-hour period and it looks like the screw over on the other side might be affected as well. So one way or the other, it's coming off, it looks like. All right, let's continue. See if we can get this completely dissolved out. Hey, this is approximately nine hours into the uh, soaking in the alum liquid. Now, this is the screw area after sitting in the uh, alum water solution overnight. I didn't run the heat on it. I uh, didn't want to run the stove during the evening. So we'll put it back on the heat. It's starting to show signs of uh, dissolving it. So hopefully by the end of today, we will have a clear hole. So we'll continue on and see if we get this all cleared out. And after a full 24 hours, roughly, soaking this part in that loom with the water, we have success. And I was able to poke a needle straight through that hole there. So the remainder of that screw is now dissolved and we'll clean out the hole and hopefully the new screw will fit and we can finish this movement. So the whole question is, does a loom work with removing a sheared off screw? The answer is yes, it will. And if anybody else finds this video helpful, I wouldn't mind if you make your comments, like, or even subscribe, and we'll continue on with more videos like this. Okay, thanks for watching. One thing to note about a loom, and when you're doing this with a part to remove the screw, just be sure anything you leave on the part if you're not sure if it's stainless steel or not, and you can get it off, I would suggest you do it. Because if you look at this area here, that spring or whatever the function of that little tab was on the other end there, is definitely not stainless steel. And by the time I realized it wasn't, the alum had already dissolved the tip off it. So this stuff does work very good at dissolving, dissolving metal that is not stainless steel. So just one thing to note, learn from others' mistakes so you don't make it, because that's how we go on to other successes. So 
Removing a sheared off screw will work with a loom, but make sure everything on the part is stainless steel. Okay, thanks again.